Welcome back. I am Melissa Rand with the Aqua Cares TV show. I am here in St. Petersburg with Michelle Detweiler, who is the president and CEO of Park Center for, for disabilities. Disability. Yes. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Please tell us about your mission, what your goals are. Absolutely. So Park has been in this community for almost 70 years. We're celebrating our 69th year and we serve children and adults with developmental disabilities, preschool to post school. So the, the county school system serves the, the school age children and we do the before and after. So we have everything from our early intervention programs where we serve um, children from two months all the way up until um, pre-k you know through going into kindergarten uh, early intervention where they receive physical therapy occupational therapy speech therapy if they need um, behavior services we have resources for that but most of the children that we serve come from about 300 percent poverty level so we're serving um, children who environmentally are not receiving the resources that they need so when they start kindergarten they're behind so our program focuses on getting them ready for kindergarten and ready to go so when they start kindergarten it's you know a lot easier so early intervention and then you fast forward to our adult day programs where we have um, folks from 20 to 80 Oh, wow. And we provide services, our um, inspired artist studios where they do art. Um, we have digital art, computer art, um, beading, jewelry making. Well, this candy dish, right? Yes, yes. This, this yeah, this is pottery. Candy. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we have two kilns, and they, there's a lot of pottery going on. You'll have to meet Alex. He's one of our star potters. Oh. Um, and so, yes. Yeah, so we have numerous different we're, we're out in the community we do um, we have a big supported employment program where we have um, contracts that come in from different businesses right now we're our biggest most popular contract is with Flanders filters so they make the air conditioned filters mm -hmm. that aqua I'm sure uses <laughs> um, and we actually make the filters from start to finish and um, everything from gluing it, we have production lines, Flanders brought all the equipment in for us, they trained us, and our folks make the filters. So the wow. filters you buy in Home Depot or where have you, it's probably could be made by, by some of our folks. So it's really exciting that we have that contract. And we have several different contracts. Um, so what we do is if somebody really wants to learn a skill and go out into the community and work, um, they can start there. And so we teach them resume building, you know, just all the work ethic type things that you, you need to know about working. And we help them through the process. And then we work with the employers to place people within their company. And we follow them. We have job coaches that make sure they're successful. And if something's not working out, we're right there to help. And most of our employers say it's their, their best employees that they have on the payroll. Wow. So that's a very exciting component of it. That is. Yeah. How, how are these adults, these individuals, finding you? Are they referred to you? Uh, they are. So, um, and that's a big thing today because um, the state, the population that we serve is really what I consider an invisible population. People don't see people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And our state, they do not find it a priority for funding. So we obviously receive funding from the state. Um, that funding um, trickles through uh, what's called the Med Waiver Program. And if you have a disability, you are registered with the state, easy way to say it, and then um, you have someone that helps you find the services, and they're called support coordinators. So we are a service. We have everything from residential to day program, employment, and that's they're referred from the state but they're also referred through doctors, um, through the community. There's so many other ways that people find us. We get, I mean, we get referrals every single day. Um, with the pandemic, a lot of the day programs closed. Right. 
Um, so we have several hundred people on our waiting list to come to us every day to have meaningful things to do in their life, um, which is very, um, very heartbreaking to me that there are people out there and their families, a lot of times their parents are elderly and they're taking care of their adult disabled child. It's very, very stressful. Um, so, so that's how we get some of the referrals. We get referrals from other funding sources, uh, word of mouth. Um, that's, that's basically how we get it. And you said, of course, that the state funds you. Um, where else? Where else? How can the community help? Are there? Absolutely. So we are funded by the state, but it, there's a huge gap. And um, our organization, just to make ends meet every year, this year has to raise $2 million. And we do that through private donations. Um, we, we've been around for almost 70 years, so we have some amazing long-term supporters. Um, there's a lot of new people coming into town, so we try to get out there and, and showcase our organization so they can come and take a tour and see what we're doing. Um, and then we have events. We have two, two premier, our premier special events every year. Um, the golf tournament, which is a golf tournament weekend. It's going to be held at Countryside um, Golf Club up in Countryside in um, Pinellas County. And we raise about $100,000. And Wonderful. this is, I think, our 52nd year, I want to say. Wow. Um, so it's long term. We have a lot of followers for that. And then we have our Black Tie Party, uh, which is a huge event. It's been around for decades also. And that will be in November of 2022. Okay. So you will start seeing the social media posts and you can buy tickets. Um, we sold out um, last year very quickly. So it's people want to get out now. You know, the pandemic's yes. getting a little bit people are getting tired and they want to be out and I'm surprised at the um, the response that we're getting. That's wonderful and this is on your website? Yes, Tickets everything is on our website, on the website. You know, www.parkfl.org parkfl.org P-A-R-C yep. F-L.org um, In a day how many people are coming in and out of these doors? So we uh, have about 320 employees. Wow. Um, yes, yes. A lot of people are always surprised by that. Yes. And we ha we serve pandemic numbers about 520 people a day. Really? Yes. And we also, I did not mention, but we, there's 94 people that live with us. So we do provide residential care too. And um, that's mostly adults. We do have some young adults that live in one of our um, residential homes, but that's a big component of it. There's a lot of people that need homes. Mm -hmm. So that's a big part of our program. And that's all here on this campus? So our main campus has most of it. And then we have a couple homes out in the community. We have two group homes, um, okay. Curry Villa and Burkett Villa out in the community. So, okay. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. If you could ask uh, anything from your local community, from your St. Petersburg viewers, what, what, what would, would you say? Well, I would say, come see us. You know, to take a tour of this organization is to really know what we're doing. Every time someone comes, they say, oh my, I had no idea. You know, I had no idea this is what was going on. And we've been here a long time. But until you see it, you and I can talk about it for, you know, I can tell you all about our programs, but until you see it is, is really um, the way to understand what we do and how we're helping people and advocate for people who can't advocate for themselves and it's and like I said I feel like the population we serve is an invisible population and I mean you know how it is if you see someone that's a little different it's not a comfortable thing sure. it's not a comfortable yeah. thing you don't really you're not going to go up and say hey how are you because it's human nature not to feel comfortable um, around people who have disabilities and so it's it's good to um, for us to get out and for us to people bring people in here to see how wonderful this population is because it truly is um, a population that um, deserves a lot more attention, a lot more services, and a, a lot more love from others. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking yeah. forward. I think you mentioned that we might be able to go back to yes. where the arts Absolutely. are happening, and um, I'm looking forward to that. So. Well. Um, 
again, thank you so very much. You're welcome. Thank I, you. The, and the, thank you, Aqua. Yes. I mean, thank- Aqua is just has been an amazing partner. I just I just want to say that Aqua, Skip Stanton, he's been an amazing supporter. David Fair has been an amazing supporter. Ryan Fair. Um, they just have um, embraced our organization, and um, whenever we're, we need help, uh, they seem to come through. And I, on behalf of everyone we serve, I'm so grateful that they recognize the need for um, for the support. Thank you for that. Thank You're you welcome. for that. And that's a huge part of this. And I am so humbled to be able to be the person that speaks to you and to all the other organizations and charities that Skip and Chuck and Aqua support because. I'm learning so much too. Yeah. So it's great. It's um, good stuff. It is. It yeah. is good stuff. We, yeah. need, we need a lot more of that in yeah. the world right yeah. now. So um, thank you again. You're welcome. I'm so happy to meet you. I'm um, excited to go back and see yes. the arts. Yeah, and you're going to come back too. Yes, yeah. I absolutely yeah. am. <laughs>